back on boundedcomics.com with some more quick hits, stories that quite frankly aren't worthy of making an entire video about. First story here, Horizon and American Saga creator Kevin Costner stands by decision to tell a Western settler story. A great injustice occurred in the West, but it doesn't minimize the courage it took from our ancestors to cut loose and go there. That's 100% correct. The, this is like a byproduct of idiots out there believing that if you show bad things happening in movies or TV shows, that you somehow can condone them or, or you are, are praising them. You're, you're trying to encourage more of that. That's idiotic. You know, it's, it's just dumb. Anyway, next story is American Psycho is being remade by Lionsgate, and it shouldn't be. As a general rule, I don't think movies, you know, just any movie should be remade barring a few exceptions of like advancements in CGI allows it to be made better. But by and large, I don't think movies should be remade. It's better off to just make an entirely new movie, but we know they're too creatively bankrupt in Hollywood to do that. Deadpool and Wolverine copyright filing confirms Emma Corrin's villainous role, return of live action Marvel heroine. We're talking about uh, Elektra that's played by Jennifer Garner. Then there's a story here, race swap of a character from Richard Donner's 1978 film and Superman Legacy, confirmed by James Gunn. It's the character of Otis. You don't know who that is? Exactly. It's not really much of anything, to be honest. It's kind of ridiculous that some people are trying to make this into a huge thing. It's a character that wasn't even a comic character, but anyway, whatever. Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender showrunner defends changes to King Boomy. Says original fun depiction didn't work in live action. Uh, there's some validity to that because there are certain things that can be done in animation that don't work in live action, but it's also, they've also made changes to several other things that just, that don't make any sense. So even if you agree with this, it, it's, it's stupid. Some of the other decisions they've made. So it makes you want to lose uh, any faith, any brownie points, whatever you want to call it with these people. And we'll see. Boy Anderson died at age 81. Uh, you know, look, the guy was extremely influential in wrestling. If you follow wrestling, you know who he is. Or you likely know who he is, I would imagine. But, you know, I mean, anybody dying is a loss. You want to look at it like that. The Acolyte lead, Amanda um, Amandla Stenberg, said Disney Plus series will honor the ethos of Star Wars and ideas around the Force and also challenge them. In other words, it's going to be complete fucking garbage. We all knew that, though, pretty much. You know, but anyway. Not not a real surprise coming from her. Anyway, moving on. Marvel star Mark Ruffalo says MCU's Disney Plus output killed its mystique. Unsure if course corrections can restore franchise to what it was. The the actual the Disney Plus output would have been okay if the the TV shows were actually really good. Instead, they were. I, 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 look, I liked some of the series, like Hawkeye in particular. I, was it great? No. Yeah, but I I thought it was the best of the TV series. There were some bad ones. There were some really bad ones. We won't need to go into that. You know, but anyway. Monarch, I, I'm going to finish with this one real quick. Monarch Legacy of Monsters creator Matt Fraction thinks Jet Jaguar could fit in the MonsterVerse. Yeah. I don't think so. Jet Jaguar, if you don't know who that is, look him up. He is basically a, you know, he's like a huge robot. Essentially, I mean, it's could it work? I I suppose. I mean, I suppose anything could work. I don't think so. But anyway, then then the other story here is about the, they had canceled Superman and Lois TV series in order to bump box office hopes of Superman Legacy. It's absurd. It's like one doesn't have anything to do with the other. But I get what they're saying. I, th- I think at the same time, though, it it has more to do with them not wanting Superman Legacy to look paler in comparison to the Superman and Lois TV series. Which may or may not happen. In some people's eyes, it might. Others, it probably wouldn't. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I'll link to this stuff in the description box. You can read it for yourself. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.